There it is, the ocean, the Pacific Ocean here in Southern California. And we got some clouds rolling in. The full moon should be right out there, but it's being hidden right now. Uh, I'm in the car because actually it's still pretty dark out. It doesn't look like it here, but um, because it's quiet enough that I can actually talk on the video at the moment. But here I am in La Jolla, California. Uh, as I mentioned in the last video, I'm down here in Southern California, spring break with my kids, and they've gone home now, but I have since um, not gotten out to do any photography either. I've had other family stuff to do. So this is it, I fly home tomorrow, I'm here, I have like two or three hours to come out and do photography, and that's it for photography on my trip. It's not quite true, other than uh, I photographed some airplanes while I went plane spotting with my son and we went and saw the Blue Angels perform. So I did make some photos on those little adventures with my son. I don't know if anybody's interested in that on a kind of nature photography channel, but I'd be happy to talk about photographing airplanes. Leave me a comment if that interests you. Um, I feel like when I'm out there uh, with my son and interesting things are happening, I might as well make some photos and try and make them the best that I can because uh, I'm a photographer and that's what I like to do. So if that interests you, let me know. But otherwise, I'm here in La Jolla. My plan today is, I only have a couple hours, is to just do motion blur. Uh, these new cameras, the, the Nikon Z9, the Sony A1, the Canon R5 and R3, whatever, they all like have no problem getting virtually every frame in focus on you know birds in flight uh, even in tricky situations but here I've got mostly pelicans and gulls and these focus systems just it's pretty trivial to make sharp images of birds in flight out here with the with the new cameras so uh, I'm going to mix it up a little bit and try and go for the luck factor too. With motion blur, you still need some skills to track the birds properly, and then you need some luck to, to get the blur to be pleasing. And that's subjective, of course, as well. Uh, but so I'm gonna go for, I'm gonna have a bunch of photos that are terrible that I'm gonna throw away, and then I'm looking for those lucky couple of photos where I get something interesting with the motion blur effects that are happening, because I'll be using shutter speeds of maybe a 15th, a 10th of a second to maybe up to a 60th of a second, depending on how fast the bird is moving and how close it is to me or how much of the frame it's filling. Uh, so that's all I'm gonna do out here. Slow shutter speed, I'll be working in manual today. Base ISO, uh, set the shutter speed I want. I'm probably start at 20th of a second here this morning in a minute, and then adjust the aperture to give me a proper exposure. And then I've just got to try and track them properly and look for those moments where I can make an interesting blur. And I'm going to delete a lot of photos and hopefully I have a couple that turn out pretty cool. So anyway, that's the deal out here today. Thanks for following along. Uh, it look, just looks lovely. The pelicans are zooming by out there. I don't know if you can see them. The moon is just barely creeping out. You definitely can't see that. A gull just flew by. So I'm psyched to be here. I'm going to get out there and make some photos and hopefully I can vlog out there a little bit too. It's so loud with the ocean waves. Oh, I'm shooting with the Nikon Z9 and the Nikon Z100 to 400 millimeter lens today. And I did bring a variable neutral density filter so that as the light level comes up, I can darken that uh, filter and achieve a slow shutter speed, even though it'll be bright, full sunshine. Because the sun's coming over there, there's no clouds. The clouds are rolling in, kind of marine layer rolling in. So that's all I've got out there. One camera, one lens, potentially a filter on the front, and then I'm just gonna walk around here for a couple hours, up and down the boardwalk here at La Jolla, look for interesting things to photograph. So thank you for coming along. It's good to be back out here making photos after a wonderful vacation with my kids and uh, Stephanie, and we're actually down here visiting her family uh, the last couple of days as well. So, talk to you in a bit. I'm looking forward to this. Go make some photos. Yeah.
fantastic, like pink and purple, beautiful free sunrise sky here. So I'm kind of working the scene. I got a lot of birds and a beautiful background. The moon, I wish, was a little more visible, but in the haze out there, it's really tough to see. So maybe it'll pop through and become a little more visible. Maybe not. But I'm on the lookout for birds flying in front of that moon as well. Otherwise, I'm just going to sit here and work on this flock of gulls because I'm having a good time. Uh, and I'm overdressed. It's, this is my lightest weight puffy. And it's not that cold. It's like probably 55. But I brought it because sometimes it can be windy out here, but it's not this morning. It's gorgeous, beautiful morning. Anyway, back to the photos. I'm going to change locations here. It was a beautiful morning. There's some surfers out, some light hitting the waves. It's just gorgeous. Uh, and most of this, this flock of birds kind of went away now. So I'm going to go chase them up the coast a little bit or wherever, wherever I can find more birds that way. But uh, so I'll probably end the vlog here, but I'm not going to end the video. The vlog part is over, uh, but I'm going to show you a sequence of Generally, I assume I got a decent photo in there somewhere. And so I'll show you the sequence, because usually like if you shoot a burst of 10 or whatever, 15, 20 frames, only one of them is gonna work. And so I'll just kind of rifle through which ones work or which ones don't work, and then the one that does work and talk about why. Uh, and you may or may not disagree with those uh, thoughts. But anyway, here we are, lovely La Jolla, out doing some photography before sunrise. It's just a wonderful way to start the day and a wonderful way to spend the day. So I appreciate you watching. Uh, I'll now get back in front of the computer and we'll talk about some of the images. Hey, everybody. I, I'm back in the yellow chair. I stole the chair from Lula. She's over here on the ground snoring. So if you hear some snoring, I apologize. That's what sweet old beagles do, apparently. Uh, but anyway, so here I am. I'm back home in Wyoming. I'm going to show you that in a minute. And I want to talk about the bird images, the blurry, motion blurred images that I shot in La Jolla. So before I jump into actually showing you the images, 
uh, I'll show you the gear that I used out there. And so that was, as I mentioned in the video, the Nikon Z9 and the 100 to 400 millimeter lens. Uh, the settings on this, uh, I, I was shooting in manual mode. I would suggest either shoot in manual mode or shutter priority mode, depending on if the light's changing at all. But either one, just set your, your shutter speed to say 15th of a second, 30th, 60th, a third, whatever. Find the, the amount of blur that works for you. It's a trial and error process. Uh, I seem to find on these birds 15th to a 30th of a second was giving me what I wanted there. Uh, but not much else really uh, to talk about as far as settings. Uh, just make sure you get your shutter speed locked in where you want it. Uh, the variable neutral density filter is on the front of the lens here. You spin it to change how dark the filter is going to be. And then I actually have a little piece of gaffer tape on here as well. So once I spin it in, if you're, if you're shooting in manual mode, you don't want that thing to move around because that's gonna change your exposure. So a little piece of gaffer tape there will lock it down and then I have a nice consistent exposure. If you're in shutter priority, uh, you, can, you, know, you can move that a little bit and it will change your aperture uh, to, to reflect the changes in the amount of light getting through. Uh, but So that's an important little thing, a little piece of gaffer tape. Uh, you know, filters get stuck on lenses sometimes, so I like to carry one of these. This is a little, uh, what do they call it? Is it a filter wrench? Whatever, it's like a filter removal tool. So you just go on like that. It's got like a kind of a rubberized coating, and then you, it'll help you grab that filter so you can then spin it and get it off. This particular uh, device is made by Tiffin. It's a variable neutral density filter. And uh, as you spin it, I've got the gaffer tape on there so it won't spin, but as you spin it, it changes the, um, the darkness. I don't know if you'll be able to even see that, but it's light there and now it's getting very dark so you can't see through it. But anyway, that's a neat little thing. The filter tool, what else do I have over here? The other things I used out there was a black rapid strap, shoulder strap to carry it around. Uh, I would bring a rocket blower and probably uh, a sensor swab as well, because uh, in these bright conditions, you're gonna be stopping down to get a slow shutter speed and that's gonna make any uh, dust on your sensor become very apparent. So there's a few things to consider out there. Affiliate links will be in the description. So if you're looking to pick up any of that stuff, please use the, the link there in the description and Amazon and or PictureLine will send me a couple of bucks. Much appreciated. So now we've covered that, let's jump into the images. So I have a sequence here of an incoming goal that uh, is 32 images. And I believe I was shooting at 10 frames per second through this sequence. So this would be just about three seconds worth uh, of shooting as his goal came in with the beautiful kind of peachy pinky um, sunset sky, sunrise sky right behind it. So the light was lovely, uh, the subject coming in, nice clean background, and I got on it. The Z9 tracked it, autofocus, no problem. And then I just had to do my best to pan with the bird to try and get it to be something sharp in the image that would make it pleasing. Uh, the first image here, too blurry. I'm just gonna scroll through them. Actually, before I do that, I'll just show you the, the full sequence here uh, to show you how that came roughly the same timing as what it would have been like in real life. And now we'll go through these images reasonably quickly the first time and then I'll show you what worked and what didn't. So here's the first image, too blurry, too blurry. That one's close, a little bit too blurry, but that's more like what I'm looking at with a little bit of sharpness in the, in the bill and a little bit of sharpness in the feet, but still a little too blurry for my taste. Too blurry, too blurry, too blurry, too blurry, too blurry, and this is all normal, too blurry. Most of these are gonna be too blurry. That's the deal out there. I'm gonna delete all these. Too blurry, that one's close, but too blurry. Too blurry, no. 
This one is really close, but I don't like the, I think it's sharp enough, like on its face and its eye, there's a little bit of blur there, but um, the gesture in this scene doesn't do much for me here. So I'm gonna keep going past that. Too blurry, too blurry, too blurry. Now we're picking up some background distractions. Too blurry, too blurry, eh, close, getting better, too blurry. Too blurry. He's coming in for landing. It's still too blurry. Still too blurry. Ah, finally got one. So now this is, uh, the feet are sharp. And I want something for your eye to land on. Uh, the, I love the pose here, the incoming landing. So I got big time blur in the wings. Uh, I got some sharp feet. Uh, unfortunately, the eye and the bill aren't uh, the, the sharpest thing in the photo. Uh, that's what I would prefer, but it's actually kind of quirky. I like this having the feet be kind of the center of attention there because the feet look pretty cool. They've got those little black uh, like toenails on them and stuff. So it's a little bit quirkier than just if the eye and the bill had been the sharpest thing in the photo. And that's where your eye's going to land is on those feet. So this is one I would pick as a yes. And then the next one, too blurry. This would have been a great pose, but too blurry with the wings up, too blurry coming in for landing, and then the last blurry, blurry, too blurry, now he's on the ground. So really there was one photo there that I'd say is a, a keeper and a couple that were really close. And uh, so that's just my quick thought process on those. And I'll go through them much quicker than that because I'm shooting a lot of photos out there and I know I'm gonna delete most of them. But that's a pretty representative kind of series of what I'm doing out there uh, where I'm going to delete most over 90% of these images. And I'm just kind of hoping for those one where it's just there's something pleasing about it. Uh, there's something sharp enough for your eye to land on or there's something abstract enough to be very interesting. And of course, what's interesting to me might not be <laughs> interesting to you. Uh, and that's one of the cool things about photography is that we all like different stuff. You guys might like some of those better than, uh, you know, the, the ones that I'm deleting. You might say, no, no, I really love the blur in that one. Whatever, that's all great. Uh, that's up to you to decide. But I wanted you to see, you know, how I shoot this and how almost all of them are going to get deleted. And uh, I'm just going to keep one or two out of those sequences. And um, that's why I'm there, to make one or two good images. So anyway, th that'll be the wrap up for the video today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this one, a little different, some out in the field, some in the yellow chair. And uh, I'm back, I'm back in action, I'm back in Wyoming. I'm going to try and make another video soon here. I've been a little slow on making videos, just too much life happening. And um, so I'm going to, I got to start prioritizing these videos a little bit more. So thanks for hanging in there with me. Uh, appreciate you following along on the channel here and I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.